this video I'm going to show how to download and install the NVIDIA GeForce graphics drivers. So to download the software, I'll need to go to NVIDIA.com and then after the site loads go over and click on drivers in the upper right. Then I will agree to their cookie policy below and go up above to select GeForce from the product category. Now I have a 3090 GPU installed in this system so I'll select the GeForce RTX 30 series in the next drop down below. Then I will select the regular GeForce RTX 3090 and go down below to select Windows 11 for the operating system. And with all those options selected, I'll click the Find button at the bottom to display the options available to me. There are currently two versions, the Game Ready driver which is more ideal for the gamer and the Studio driver which is more for content creators that do things like video editing, animation, and live streaming. I fall into the content creator category so I will click to view the Studio driver and that will give me the option to download it. So I will click the download button and then go up to the top right of Chrome to click on full download history where I can watch the download status. And after the file downloads I'll go up and click on the icon folder which will open up the file explorer to where the file is stored and then I can double click on the file to begin the installation. So I start by clicking yes to allow the driver software to make changes to my computer. Now I'll click OK to use the default path NVIDIA sets to extract the driver files. And I just wait for the extraction process for the driver and software installation to begin. After it starts, the first option it will give me is to install both the drivers and app, or just the drivers which is the option I choose. Then I agree and continue to choose the advanced option where I can check the provided box to perform a clean install. Now I just click next and it will begin the installation process which can take quite a bit of time to complete. Your screens may flicker during the installation and if you have multiple monitors, some might not even show a screen until you reboot which has happened to me before. I also use NVIDIA Quadro cards which has created conflicts when I install these drivers so I always create a system image I can go back to if I have problems. So after the installation completes, I just click on close and then I'll go down to right click on the start icon so I can select the device manager to check for conflicts. As you can see, I do have a lot of conflicting hardware which is shown with a yellow triangle icon, but I'm only interested in seeing if my RTX 3090 has one, which it does not, so I'll close the device manager and then go down to restart the computer. Hopefully this video has helped, and feel free to ask any questions that you still may have in the comments. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe for more quick and on-point videos.